If you're here, you're probably tired of being stuck in the same rank, wondering what it takes to finally climb to Grandmaster, or even just rank up. Well, this isn't some basic just play more guide, or you know, talk to your teammates. I'm giving you real actionable steps to take your Overwatch gameplay to the next level. No filler, no excuses, just practical advice that works. Whether you're struggling in gold, platinum, or even diamond, this guide is all about making serious progress. So first, let me give you some context, right? For a long time, I was stuck in platinum and diamond, like it took me literally ages i don't know if i have the videos but i have a video where we're at a friend's house and i record i finally hit diamond and it's back in a watch one when it was sr and it took me so long time and you know what i just did i just kept playing kept playing kept playing i necessarily didn't improve i just played so much so eventually i get up a bit and then i drop down and up a bit i am sure a lot of people can feel uh, familiar in this i didn't make a huge amount of progress until i found the youtuber awkward and i'm going to give a lot of credit to him in this video because it was him that introduced me to this but unfortunately the awkward has gone on a more smurfing content type of shit right now so he's not making educational and i think that's sad because he has he had a really good view, he had a really good way of seeing things in a watch. But he made it understand, and he made it so simple to understand how to actually improve in a watch. And combine that with the type of mindset I had that was focusing on improving in every aspect of life and how you would improve at something. Everything finally started to click for me, and the climbing became much easier. Like, I honestly, like, I think it was in like one season or something, I went from diamond to grandmaster this was season season 10 season 9 season 11 something like that and the thing is i just lost all motivation after like I, I reached my goal i'll show you some here behind so you can see i'm actually i actually reached top and shit and now after reaching that i kind of slacked off because i i don't have the desire to reach grandmaster anymore but i'm still gonna educate you on how you can do it because it was literally so like these tips made it so simple so simple to reach it Okay, so what did Awkward teach me? Well, before I teach you, what you need to have is an improvement mentality, okay? We need to start focusing on improving instead of ranking up, right? A lot of people will go into a match thinking we need to win this one. No, what you need to think is, okay, I need to play this match so good as possible. And eventually, when you get better, your rank will also improve. So what is this mentality? Well, every time you die, you will take responsibility. I don't care if your Anna stood right in front of you and they didn't hear you. I don't care if you had to go in and help your Reinhardt and charge in. You made a decision that got you killed and you could probably have made a better decision and you could probably have impacted the game in a better way which wouldn't have led to that outcome, right? So never ever blame your teammates because what you're essentially doing is taking away the power to change by putting the mistakes on, the, on your teammates, right? You're saying, okay, it was their fault, not mine, which means you cannot improve because you are implying that you are perfect and it was nothing your fault, right? So get it first. And now we have we will have some people like, oh, you know, about that, but sometimes it actually is your team. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. If you, you, you don't want to rank up, you, you can you can keep blaming that. I, I would not keep blaming that. So we need to have this mentality, right? Everything we will blame ourselves and we'll think, okay, why did I die here? And then you will look over the fundamentals I'll teach, I will teach you, and you think, okay, wait, I didn't follow this. I didn't do this. Oh wait, I was actually overextending here. Wait, I should have taken another angle, you know, some uh, things like that. And you, you'll adapt because that's also part of the process. The process, part of the process is you have to fail first to learn, right? You can't just, I can't just tell you like, oh, you know, play better. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah Oscar, I watched your video, but I, I don't play better after watching a 10 minute video. Like, yeah, no shit. You need to go and actually put this thing into practice and then you will learn. Okay. So next I want to touch on another specific that could be a bit controversial, but I firmly believe that if you want to learn and rank up, Fast than this, you need to pick one hero and one trick it on, up until Grandmaster. I will tell you, it doesn't matter what hero you, you one trick, you will be able to reach Grandmaster with any hero. Like, I haven't seen, like, I, I, I one tricked, for example, Moira, right? Now, some people, oh, like, Moira is this? Nah, shut the fuck up. Okay, people are just coping with them not being able to reach it, whatever. I one tricked Moira. Moira is considered like trash. Like, people, people legit, when I pick Moira, people want to throw the game in high reload right i don't give a shit right i'm here to play a hero i enjoy and i want to get better at it and it works like i i can still win up up until grandmaster and you know i stopped playing up in grandmaster because i kind of reached my goal i had much in school i was like i can't keep putting 
down so much time for this. So, I mean, who knows how, how, uh, how high I could have climbed, but people will say things like this. People, if you pick an off meta hero, they will be like, oh, you know, we're losing because you, no, no, we're losing because we're not playing good enough, right? So why you want to pick one hero is because then you can actually learn and you will not be changing every time. Imagine this, imagine you pick one hero, make some mistakes, next match you pick another hero. Now suddenly the mistakes you made on that one won't necessarily apply on that new one. Because they have different kits and everything. And you will learn very slowly, right? There, there is this thing, you know, um, a jack of all trades, a master of none. Like you will just be mediocre at every hero and not actually rank up. And by playing one hero, you can also focus on the fundamentals, right? You will, but because if you change hero all the time, you will have to. Oh no, this hero is new mechanics. You know, I can't really, I don't really know how to dash good with Yen during the shuriken. And you will focus on that instead of focusing on the fundamentals. We'll go over. Let's go over what awkward teach me. It's a very simple way of looking at a watch where you follow a kind of fundamentals. Now, if your mechanical skills are not good enough, like if you're in bronze, this won't probably work. Like you will also need to improve your mechanical skills because if you're in bronze, let's face it, your mechanical skills are pretty trash, probably. But you can still apply this and probably rank up somewhat, but you will need to improve your mechanical skills to get this. But a lot of these things would make you like, it, it can take you to grandmaster. Like I don't have amazing aim. Obviously I played Moira. You don't need to have amazing aim, you just need to apply these things. Like, there's a lot of high elo players that don't apply these things, and it's you can see it in their in their gameplay, right? One thing I've noticed with all these supports I played against in high elo is was they, they wasn't applying these fundamentals, right? And it made it very easy for me to outplay them, to, to get more value and actually win the match. So, okay, let's go over here. First, a fundamental I want you to take in is... Uh, uptime this is something that means we uptime is when we do something right when we when we're shooting the enemy when we were healing our team that is uptime when we're using our ultimate and basically if you want to learn something you need to do it you need to do it very much right so imagine this we have two players we have one player that is constantly shooting the enemy constantly looking to do something constantly throwing his over throwing his trying to shoot them walking out from spawn obviously you're not gonna stand in a spot that is bad but in, in the most maps, you can take pretty good angles to shoot at the spawn and then just back off and start pushing. That is having good uptime and you're not letting the enemy get to high ground or take space for free. But what I see a lot of people do, like a lot of people, is that you have very little uptime, which means you learn. Like imagine this Hanzo that take all the angles all the time, he will get more shots in, get better at shooting. But we have uh, another guy, let's call him, uh, let's call him Little Timmy, right? Little Timmy, he will, he sits on cart when he, his team wins the fight. He sits on cart, waits for the enemy to push again. He will, he, as a, like, like legit, some of you are standing AFK, doing nothing between fights. And that is one, letting the enemy get a lot of space. And two, you're not practicing the game. This guy will have like, like double the amount of hours when the both have played the same. So he will learn faster. You need to constantly have uptime because you will also put a lot of pressure on the enemy if you're constantly shooting them. That is the first fundamental. Constantly do something. Don't just sit around and wait for the enemy to come to you. Constantly do something. And this will greatly improve your game and you will learn much more. Like you will not only put more pressure, but you will actually learn the game faster. All right. And like this seems so obvious, but 90% of you don't do it. I promise you, 90% of you have no uptime. You sit AFK or just walk around or something like uptime like sometimes we do have to have downtime right because we have to like rotate to high ground but you won't have as much uptime as possible now next is related to the uptime and that is constantly dealing damage right overwatch is a game of pressure right you both teams are exerting asserting a certain amount of pressure to the other team right that means when you're shooting the enemy team you're putting pressure on them healing doesn't really count because you're not necessarily putting pressure on the enemy team by healing someone your team is just not dying essentially what you're doing so healing is the lowest form of pressure you can do but sometimes you obviously need to heal of course as a healer but what you want to do even as healers is to constantly put out pressure because imagine this okay if you shoot at the enemy dps as an ana for example or or at their supports what will happen the enemy dps will either take cover or he will die or his teammate will heal him that is two people say, say his healer heal him that is two people you're taking out of the five focusing on you since you're shooting them and they need shields so now you are a certain a, a certain amount of pressure right like if people would think that oh but i need to heal my team no no because when you're asserting this pressure on the enemy team they can deal as much damage to your team which means you don't need to heal them as much so you're indirectly indirectly healing them right so that is one thing, constantly do damage, like some people just don't do that, like I, I don't get it, constantly try to shoot the enemy, constantly, if you can see the enemy, shoot them, 
This will like, like it seems always, but this will greatly, greatly in, improve your gameplay. You will get more ult charge and the enemy will be under so much pressure that your team can make better play. You know, going and healing a full HP target or like he's lost 10 HP as a tank, like it doesn't do anything. Shoot at enemy, throw a biotic grenade or something, right? The next fundamental is constantly moving, right? You want to be constantly on the move. Like some people sit in the same spot and stay in the same spot and don't do shit. Like, what are you doing that? that? Because people get used to, okay, he will be on this angle, I will go here and I will just kill him, right? People get used to you sitting there, but if you're constantly switching angles, the enemy will have a hard time. Like, how many times haven't you get dove by a Winston? Because he knew exactly where you were, you were standing in the same place all the time, just constantly switch angle. You shoot some here, as soon as the enemy starts shooting back, oh, you go to another angle, quickly switch to another angle, start shooting there. Oh, they, they're looking here now, you switch, you switch, you're gonna confuse the enemy. They're gonna have a lot more, it's gonna take a lot more for them to deal with you. Your team can make better play. It's very simple. Because the problem is, a lot of people, a lot of you people, you autopilot when playing this game. You don't think too much when playing, so you follow this laid out rule. Like there's a laid out kind of um, you know you can walk main right and a lot of people just walk main all the time take another angle if you stand on the side the enemy like this is another thing off angles right if, if, uh, imagine this if you take an off angle like not behind your team now the team now the enemy team has to look in two ways right and that creates a gr that creates great opportunity for you and your team to make plays right for, because if the right now look at you or the support look at you look looks at you they're not looking forward your team could go in right you need to do this you need to create distractions all the time and constantly constantly do damage like i'm not even telling you to oh you need to you need to uh, do this or this i'm just telling you to try to take an off angle see okay did this work okay no wh why didn't it work okay it was my crew was there maybe i should have taken a, a slightly less angle like i'm not like this is you see how this, these fundamentals are so broad as well like i'm not um like these are things you can apply to any map anywhere any any time right you just think okay how do i constantly move here okay wait i shoot here and then i could go down shoot here and then i can shoot here and then i can shoot here and i'm not almost done here so they will have to look here i can still heal my reinhardt from here like do you understand these these are very actionable things you can apply okay some other things he also mentions is you should use your abilities right like it, it's only up in the in the top level in grandmaster where using your ability at the correct time actually it matters right if you're at lower ranks if you want to learn the game constantly use your shape there, constantly use your nade you need to get those mechanics in to hit the nades and you will get a lot more a lot more out of it a lot more value out of it because you're just simply never using your abilities like i see this in many vaults people are never using their biotic grenade or sleep they're waiting for the again to dive them yada 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 throw the nade at enemy they will be forced under pressure your team can make a play on it you can make a play on it they will not be able to dive you you understand and same goes with ultimates don't hold it in and wait for in three man you know just use your damn ultimate and learn how to use it good and you'll note okay was this a bad ultimate or a good ultimate hmm, this was probably a bad ultimate and probably try a little different next time you know and you'll also get a lot more value if you use your ultimate two times when the enemy just uses it one time because they have to save it up to get a 2k but another thing is use cover like this is so like this seems so simple yeah use cover use cover go to a corner peek around the corner don't stand in the open like this gets killed so many times if you bar review yourself you will see this so many times so stand behind cover like this is this is the easiest way to like uh, when you see like uh, you die you, you ask yourself okay why did i die and you see wait i'm standing in the open what what the hell am i doing because if you're behind cover it's so easy to just hide behind cover and you know heal up or get healed whatever that's why i kind of um get an, like this is why i kind of i never expect my teammates to heal me like when i play dps or anything else except healing like i th i like i it's often i die because i stand in the open and if that's not my healer's fault, you know? I should be able to take cover and go back to my healing, get heals without problem, right? If, if I get a dive, obviously it's hard, but oftentimes you, you get shot uh, at a distance by someone and you would just not find cover. Okay, the last fundamental, this is very crucial. It's walking backward and walking forward. Like it sounds really dumb, but every time the enemy walks forward, you walk backwards. And when they walk backward, backward, you walk forward, right? It's so simple, but it's so simple, right? 
it will save you so much. Uh, you will be saved so many times by this. Like you see that they start looking at you, she start walking towards you. You walk backwards with Moira or something, or with Anna. Just walk backwards. Use your fade. As soon as you see her boost, use your fade back. As soon as you see her, she starts looking at you. She's walking forward. Walk backward on Anna. Like I can't you tell. I can't legit tell you how broken this, like fundamental is. Like just do it. It's not that hard. Use this, and this is also something, something you're gonna see when you bar review. You're gonna think like, okay, wait, the diva walked forward, but I didn't walk backward, and then she just killed me. That's the problem. Walk backward when the enemy walk forward. This is what changed everything for me. Just using these fundamentals and just focusing on myself. Like I, I honestly muted everyone. I mute everyone when I play. I just like you don't need teammates in voice chat. Like I mute everyone. Here maybe okay. Like like people aren't entitled to me being in voice chat. Let's just say that. So I just mute everyone and just. Play the game fundamentally as you should. And when I die, I ask myself, okay, what did I do here? Okay, I didn't do that. Okay, why did we lose here? Hmm, I didn't do enough damage, right? I, I I missed healing that guy. You know, that was that was my problem. Like it doesn't matter. Like only maybe at the top 100 percent matters. Only when you're playing like pro esport, but otherwise it doesn't matter. And you need to remember also this one. This one is the last thing you need to remember. That it's a number scheme, right? You will have to play a certain amount of game to rank up. Like you, you will never have a 100% win rate, right? Some games, like I would say 20% of the games, you're meant to lose. 20% of the games, you're just meant to win. Like they are, like no matter how good you do or how bad you do, you will either win or lose those games. 60% of the games, like I'm basing this out of bullshit, like I'm hurt, right? This is pure bullshit. But it kind of works like this is like per bro pure bro sense here in 20 percent of the games you can actually affect the outcome so some games you will just have a bad game like you you will have a tank that doesn't uh, stand in front or like he just goes in and die and you need to just remember like okay i try to improve my own gameplay and some you just lose some you, some you just lose and then you win and the thing is you when you have like a, a um, a positive win rate you will eventually rank up like you look at you look at the top a, a lot of these they play a very lot of matches because they understand that you just need to win a little bit more than you lose and you would rank up and remember everyone will improve different fast but there are a lot of factors that can help you on how fast you can improve but i won't go over them in this video like i mean like how to have clear head and learn things faster you know with sleep and shit and everything but i won't go over this in this video i hope you apply these things and it will honestly be so easy to 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 rank up like this is the only like if you if you're if you know mechanics and all this other shit like this is the only thing you need to know just just use this shit